Hello everybody, my name is Jill. I'm a registered kinesiologist with the Windsor Essex Community Health Center. And this is your stretching video that includes some relaxation, some range of motion, some deep breathing, so we can benefit our body and our mind. Today, all I'm gonna be using is a cloth. If you are working on a hard surface, like hardwood floor or tile, uh, if you have a carpet, you can grab a plastic bag because we're going to be putting our foot on them to slide our foot around for some of the movements. So I'm just going to keep my cloth next to me and then I can grab it with my foot whenever I need. We're going to stay seated today, so make sure you have a good sturdy chair. If it slides around or moves at all, make sure you put it up against a wall just to make sure it's safe and just wear whatever's comfortable. Um, we're gonna get started with some breathing. So we're gonna put one hand on our belly, one hand on our chest, and we're just gonna slow it down a little bit, taking a nice deep breath in, trying to focus on our belly rising first, so that belly breathing. And then as we breathe out, at the end of that breath, you're trying to squeeze those abdominal muscles, those tummy muscles to get that end of that breath out. And just go at your own pace. Nice deep breath. Maybe the shoulders and the chest rise just a little bit. And then as you breathe out, you're squeezing those core muscles to help get the rest of that breath out, giving our diaphragm and our abdominals a little bit of a challenge. Try to fire up our core area. We're gonna try and keep it engaged through the whole video. Yeah, let's finish one more breath, squeezing those abdominals, and then we're gonna drop our arms down to our sides. We're gonna add some movement to that breath. So we're gonna take a nice deep breath, just as high as whatever is comfortable for your shoulders, and push that breath out. Yeah, one more time, nice deep breath, bringing those arms up, just whatever height is comfortable for your shoulders, and pushing that breath out. Good, staying nice and tall, dropping our arms to our sides. We're gonna take our next nice deep breath in, drawing the top half of a circle, and then breathing out, drawing that bottom half of a circle, just with your shoulders. Nice deep breath in, and out. Good, if you can, try breathing in through your nose and breathing out through pursed lips like you're blowing out candles. Just to exercise all the muscles that are in your throat. Lubricate your breath through your nose a little bit. Yeah, one more, lifting up those shoulders up and back as we breathe in. And then pushing that breath out. Good, next breath in, we're gonna scoop all that oxygen towards our body, we're gonna keep it all for ourselves. And then as you breathe out, you're just melting your arms back down, reaching back, making it a little bit bigger as you scoop that breath in. And breathe out. Good, two more, trying to focus on that core, that diaphragmatic or belly breathing. One more nice big scoop, getting your whole body into it, making it a little bit bigger. Good, we're gonna bring those hands together, interlace those fingers, and we're gonna start nice and small as we breathe in, reaching those arms away, as we bring those hands back towards our body, we're breathing out. So take your time, stretching out your arms, stretching out your shoulders, and then if it feels comfortable, make it a little bit bigger. Get your torso involved a little bit. Reach those shoulders. Use those muscles in our back. Nice deep breath in. And squeezing that breath out. One more. Good, awesome. Let's change direction. Start small. See how those shoulders and those arms feel going the other way. Keep it nice and slow, keep it controlled. Breathing in and squeezing that breath out. Slowly making it a little bit bigger, maybe getting your whole body moving. Making sure that feels okay on your shoulders, that feels okay on your back. Nice deep breath in as we reach away. Breathing out as we bring those hands back one more. 
Good, and keeping those hands at our body, keeping those hands together. We're gonna do a kayak movement or figure eight. Just going side to side. Now we're moving our spine a little bit. Good, just focus on keeping your breath even. Don't worry about where you're breathing in and out here. Just a few more. Good, last few movements for those arms and shoulders. Let's do one more each side. And relax those arms. Awesome job. All right, we're gonna grab that cloth with our foot or your bag if you're using a carpet floor just so your foot can slide around a little bit. And all we're gonna do is start with that ankle. Just like a windshield wiper, we're gonna give that ankle a nice massage. And by moving this foot like this, it also goes up into that knee nice and gentle. There's no weight on that leg or a lot less than if we were standing. So you can focus on making that movement nice and big, over-exaggerated if you can. Just a few more. Good, now we're gonna keep that cloth or that bag on that foot, and we're just gonna slide that foot forward and then pull it back. If you wanna add a little strength to this, you can push that foot into that cloth or bag like you're scrubbing your floor. We're just firing up those muscles that help support that knee. Getting some range in that knee, just as big as you can, whatever feels comfortable. Breathing in as we reach away, breathing out as we bring back that leg. One more. Good, and we've got one more movement for that leg. We're gonna make a circle. So now we're scrubbing that floor in a circle. So now we're getting into that hip, we're trying to sit nice and tall. We're taking a nice deep breath in and then breathing out. This is a hard one, so take a rest if you need to. And what I always tell people, if it's uncomfortable, make it slower and make it smaller. Good, one more nice deep breath in and out. And now we're gonna change direction. We're gonna go the other way. Trying to keep that posture nice and tall. Good. Breathing in as you reach that leg away. Breathing out as you bring it back. Two more. And last one, that leg should be getting tired now, now that it's nice and warm. And let's switch those legs. Same thing on the other side, starting with that windshield wiper. So side to side, as big as you can. One leg might be different than the other. Don't be competitive and try to make them both the same. There might be some injuries or things that you've done over your life that make that leg a little bit weaker or a little bit tighter. And the reason I say that when we're doing our second side is usually people pick their stronger side to work first. So really try to pay attention, give that weaker side, if you do have a weaker side, a little bit of extra focus, making sure that you're not overdoing it. Good, one more time, each direction. And now keeping that cloth or bag on that foot, reach that leg away and pull it back. See if you can put a little pressure into that cloth. Good, adding some breath to that, keeping our core engaged so we're breathing in as we reach, we're breathing out as we pull back. And just go at your own pace. Good. Just a few more nice big movements. Pulling that leg back. And pushing that leg forward one more time. Here we go, nice deep breath in. And out, good, here's that hard one. We're gonna go out to the side and pull it back. So make sure that feels okay on your back, that feels okay on your hip. Just making that circle. And again, make it smaller, make it slower. If it's un any uncomfortable pains coming on, any extra tightness, you know your body best, listen to your body. Good, let's do one more this direction. And now we're gonna change direction, go the other way. And again, we always choose the stronger direction first. So this way might be a little bit harder. You might be starting to feel it in your hip, your back. Good. A few more. And let's finish this last one. Let's give those legs a little bit of a break. 
So we're going to kick that cloth to the side or that bag. We're going to sit nice and tall, put our hands on our knees to support us, or if you have arms on your chair, and we're going to walk those hips back in that chair just to massage our hips and our lower back a little bit differently. And then we're going to do the same thing forward. We're going to walk those hips forward in that chair. So really try to lift your hip up and step that hip forward. One more time to the back. Good, and then last time to the front. We're gonna try and get as close to the edge of our, uh, of our chair as you comfortably can. If you do have a cushion on your chair, you might wanna remove it just in case your cushion slides. You don't wanna slide with it. So we're gonna sit really nice and tall. We're gonna add some big movements. We're gonna cross our arms. We're gonna keep warming up our spine and our core. Our feet are planted. We're gonna take that nice deep breath in. And we're gonna breathe out as we look over our shoulder. So this was in the core video as well. This is a great way to coordinate your abdominals, your obliques, and your back muscles with that diaphragm. So really focus on your breathing. It might feel restrictive, but that's great. That means they're doing a lot of work. Breathing out as you twist. Breathing in as you come back through the center. Taking care of your spine. Don't overdo it. Don't be competitive with yourself. Good, breathing out as you look over your shoulder. Breathing in as you relax. Let's do one more each side. Good, and last one, breathing out. Coming back to the center. We're gonna extend that leg to the front, stretching that hamstring, that whole back of that leg. We're pulling our toes up towards us. We're gonna go back to that sweeping breath in. Good, adding to that stretch a little bit. Nice deep breath in as we sweep those arms forward, keeping our back nice and straight, and then breathing out, relaxing those arms. Slow it down. Good, let's do one more nice deep breath in. And let's slowly breathe out. Let's slide that leg back. Extend that other leg forward, and same thing, nice deep breath, sweeping those arms forward, keeping that posture. Good, just two more at your own pace. Listen to your own breath. And one more nice deep breath, reaching those arms all the way up. Breathing out, bringing those legs back, taking those arms to our sides as we reach as high as what your arms can reach. We're gonna leave one arm up there as we bring the other arm down, and we're gonna try and stretch as high and as low as we can, taking a few nice deep breaths. So you're feeling that stretch all the way down your side, into your spine, maybe you're growing an inch. Good, take one more nice deep breath in, and as you breathe out, let's bring that arm down. Good, our next breath in, bringing both those arms all the way back up. Good, this time we're gonna breathe out the other arm all the way down, keeping that arm up there that hasn't been up there yet, and stretch those arms away from our body, growing an inch, getting a little bit taller. And get, just send some extra inches or send that energy to that arm and that side every time you breathe in. One more nice deep breath in. And as you breathe out, bring that arm down to our side. Good, we're gonna take a breath in, bringing those arms out in front, interlace those fingers, and we're gonna pull those arms away, tuck our chin. Take a few nice deep breaths so you're feeling that stretch in your shoulders, the back of your shoulders, your upper back, and even the lower part of your neck. Good, we're gonna add to this with some twisting, but you just do what you're able to do. Listen to your shoulder. We're gonna keep one arm in front, and then as we breathe out, we're gonna open up the other arm, look over your shoulder, just as wide as it feels comfortable for your shoulder. Take that breath in, bring those arms back. And as you breathe out, you're gonna open up that other side. 
Good, breathing in, coming back through the center. Breathing out, opening up, just whatever you're able to do for those shoulders. Arms are getting tired, one more nice deep breath in. And last breath out, looking over those shoulders. Bring those arms back, take a nice deep breath in and drop those shoulders and those arms down. Roll those shoulders out, give it a massage. Good, we're gonna give those arms a little bit of a break. We're gonna go just to our head and neck. You can have your arms at your side or you can rest them on your lap. Take a nice deep breath in. And then as you breathe out, you're just gonna look over your shoulder as far as you can. Relax those shoulders. Take that nice deep breath back through the center. And as you breathe out, you're looking over the other shoulder. Good, just one more time each side. Nice deep breath in. And breathing out, looking over the other shoulder. And last nice deep breath in here. Looking over your shoulder. Good, coming back to the center. We're gonna go back down our body, but this time we're gonna hold our stretches. So you can keep resting your hands on your lap. Bring them back towards your body so that your shoulders can sit back on your back properly. We're gonna tilt our head down towards our shoulder. Try to relax your jaw. Relax your shoulders, your arms, your hands. Find your breath again. On your next inhale, just slowly raise your head up and take your time going over to the other side. Relax. Your jaw relaxes, your shoulders, your arms are heavy. Focus on that nice deep breath in as your belly rises. And then breathing out as you squeeze those tummy muscles and let's slowly lift that head up. Let's drop those arms down to our side, taking them up overhead again, as high as you're able to, and then push that breath out, pushing those arms away. Good, we're gonna take that breath into the middle again, right in front of our body. This time we're gonna open up our hands, open up those arms as wide as you can opening right into those hands, right into our palms. So you're feeling that stretch across your chest, front of your shoulders, down your biceps, and even down into your hands. Good, just hold it there if you can for a few more seconds. Focus on your breath. Good, one more nice deep breath in. And you're gonna take that breath out, wrap your arms around your body, give yourself a pat on the back, tuck your chin, and just find that breath again. Good, when you breathe in, you're gonna open up your arms again, but we're not gonna hold it this time. We're just gonna breathe out to wrap that other arm on top as you grab your shoulders and tuck your chin. relax those arms down. Let's roll those shoulders. See how our arms feel. Check in with your neck, your shoulders, your back, your spine. Your lower back should be getting a little bit achy from sitting. Your hips should be getting a little achy from sitting. So let's put our hands on our knees and we're going to walk our hips back in the chair just to give those hips a massage. And then we're going to walk those hips forward in our chair. Good, just to get that back, that lower back and those hips moving again. One more time, walking back. Good, and then last time, walking those hips forward. And then we're gonna stay towards the end of our chair, just as safe as you can, sitting nice and tall. We're gonna keep one leg there, we're gonna open up the other leg. You can keep a little pressure with your hands so you're feeling that stretch on the inside of your leg. Keep your body nice and tall, and if you want, you can take that center of your chest and look away just a little bit so you're feeling that in the inside of your thigh, up into your groin, 
You might feel it in your back if you're really tight. And just find that breath again. Good, so we're trying to hold these for four nice big breaths, which should be about 15 to 20 seconds. And then we'll slide that leg back. So same thing on the other side. We're stepping that leg out to the side, putting a little pressure on that knee, trying to keep our other leg facing forward. And then if you want to take that center of your body and add a little twist, as long as it's okay on your back. Sometimes when we hold our stretches, we get a little bit competitive and we try to go further than what our body wants to do. So really listen to your body. Don't push it to where it doesn't want to go. I always tell people work to the edge, but don't go over the edge because it's a lot harder to climb back up. Okay, one more nice deep breath in. And let's bring that leg back to the center. And let's just let those legs flop open and close. Give those hips a little bit of a massage. Good, we're gonna sit really nice and tall. As we take our breath in, we're gonna try and hover our foot off the ground, challenge our core just a little bit. Push that breath out, relax that leg down. And one more time, same thing on the other side, lifting that leg up, challenging your core. And then push that breath out, relax that leg down, good. Just one more nice deep breath, just at your own pace. Take your time, grow a little bit taller. And let's push that breath out. Awesome job today, relax those arms down. Give those shoulders one last roll. And I hope you feel a little bit better now that you've done some breathing, some moving, and a little bit of stretching. And just keep an eye on the website to see all the different videos that we're posting, and we'll see you soon.